Good morning, everyone. This is Claricia Myers. And I'm Roland Myers, her I'm, husband. I'm so glad he could join me this morning. It's been a long week, you know. Uh -huh. uh, was, was it last week? Yep. So yeah. two weeks I've been on. I've been out and not outside. Yeah, we really miss that. Yes, I miss the energy that I get from outside. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Tina. Glad you can join me this morning. Yeah, so this morning, um, I thought... Since Roland and I, we're working on branding ourselves, you know, uh, I thought I would talk a little bit about how to brand yourself. I have about eight tips here for you. And um, branding, you know, uh, it's more than just colors and your logo and things like that. You know, you want to be able to market yourself in the marketplace because let's say, for example, maybe a company sees you know, you, you're doing well and they want to promote their business. If your page has a whole bunch of, well, I'll start from the beginning. If your page has a lot of stuff on it, nobody's going to want to, they're going to shy away from you. So let me just start from the beginning. All right. So number one tip. Oh, good morning, Sipo. Good morning. Yes. Uh, yes. Tina. I'm so glad you ladies are here this morning. Thank you. Always use kind words. Um, words that you speak, whether you're doing a live or whatever, use kind words. Even in your comments, somebody may comment something, always use kind words to them. Somebody may give you even a negative comment. Uh, you don't respond back in kind, negative. Always use positive words. Number two, keep your page or your channel positive, mm. you know, with positive posts maybe um, something that's light, maybe musical, not necessarily musical or dancing, whatever. Something that if someone is having a bad day, they can go to your channel, your page, and be um, inspired, rejuvenated. Good morning, Rolita. Good morning. All right. Um, did you want to do the third one? Mm. Don't. Yeah, don't burn your bridges. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't burn your bridges. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have any personal issues, what should you do? Yep. Keep it positive and keep it to yourself. That's right. We keep it to ourselves. Sometimes people want to go out and, and air dirty laundry. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's, that's a no-no. Uh, and to always remain positive because you never know that person that you were trying to burn, you may need them at some point in the future. Number four. Number four. Good morning, Relita. Relita. Good morning. Oh, hi. Good morning, Alicia. Welcome. Glad that you can join me this morning. Um, we're just talking about how we can better brand ourselves. These are just some tips to keep in mind as you're branding yourself. Number four. This is a big no-no. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. You're like, oh, so-and-so had a nice uh, uh, activity on their page or they did a nice... Don't try to compare you. We all are individuals, we all are unique, we all have our, our, our gifts and talents, and so we need to celebrate ourselves. You know, don't try to be somebody that you're not. That's number four. Uh, number five. Hmm. You want to do that one? Um, we need to shy away from the I know it all syndrome, okay? Nobody knows it all. That's right. Some people get a big head, you know. Uh, you know, like, oh, maybe their page is growing or maybe they just blew up on YouTube or, or whatever. And then it's all, it's in their head. And so they walk around like, you mm -hmm. can't tell me what Mr. to do. Big I stuff. know every, that's it, Mr. <laughs> big Stuff. That's an old song from the mm -hmm. 60s. 60s? 70s. 70s. Mm -hmm. Okay, went far back. <laughs> all right, number six. This is important. I mean, all of this is important, but post often, consistently, because in so doing, it, um, it helps you to grow your page, grow your following, and um, helps you to get whatever message that you're trying to project, get it out into, you know, into the communities. Yes, that's mm -hmm. number six. Keeps it live and fresh. That's right. You know. Number seven, always be true to yourself. Um, don't try to be like somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... We can get ideas seeing what other people do, but we have to be true to ourselves. 
All right? Yeah. Don't try to be something that you're not. And don't try to do things that you know you can't do. That's right. You know? And, you know, and morally, you know you can't do those things. So. Um, <clears throat> that was number seven. Number eight. Somewhere along the line, some people kind of lose their focus. So this is so important. Focus on what's important. Stay focused. Whatever your why was when you started on this journey, it should still be a why at the end. Why are you doing things? This is my why right here. Mm. <laughs> Roland is my why. Why I come on out and do, I do lives because uh, we are building our brand. We are um, moving forward in life. You know, um, yes. We're going to change our direction. That's right. Um, and again, uh, it says, um, what is it that motivates you to get up every day? You know, sometimes people, you know, yes, we're retired, he retired, I'm mm -hmm. retired, but there are things that we want to do, still want to be able to help people, There, we can still make major contributions, and so yeah. we're doing it as a team. Sometimes he's not able to come with me in the mornings, but um, on the days that he can, spirit. yes, spirit. he's here with me in spirit. Um, <clears throat> somewhere in this description, I have a, a link to uh, where you can eliminate debt. You can have a, a debt analysis done, but you know, stress is um, in us because of debt. And to free yourself, to be able to move on and do the things that you want to do in life, you know, you have to find a way to free up that debt. And so in the, in the description, there's just a link where you can get more information on how you can become debt free in a relatively short time, avoid all this high interest and all that stuff. So uh, every Monday, every week, Monday through Friday, I come and I share uh, a tip or two from Mon uh, from at eight o'clock. And if you're catching the replay, be sure to put hashtag replay. I thank you for joining me. Uh, and thank you, Roland. I'm glad that you could make it with me this morning. Well, one more thing. I want oh, to okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, just one more thing. And branding yourself because it's all about your reputation. Okay. Um, something that Christians always know, but, you know, maybe other people haven't thought about it. But tell the truth. Be honest in whatever that you're doing. You know, we, we all want customers and we want to you know, be the wow and be the best in everything we do and what we provide. But, you know, be honest. Don't, you know, say things that you know you can't deliver. We kind of went over that. Don't make promises that you can't keep. So, you know, honesty, which is a lost trait these days, looking at our president. Oh, <laughs> oh. But anyway. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> so we're trying to stay positive. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying. You know, that's something that, you know, we need to work on. Always being honest, mm -hmm. being positive. That's right. That's right. Uh, there's some others who came on here this morning. Good morning, George. Glad that you can join us too. Hi, Zach. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Ro. Thank you for scribing. These are uh, some points that we need to keep in mind as we are branding ourselves. All right. So we thank you for joining us this morning. Today's Wednesday and... Uh, I will continue with a part two on branding tomorrow. So be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 8 when I will share some more uh, information about branding. I'll see you guys tomorrow and be blessed. Be positive. Yes. <laughs> Bye now.